Now, the, the, the greatest work in Nietzsche's corpus, as far as Nietzsche is concerned, is a book called Thus Spoke Zarathustra. And people react very, very differently to this book. There are people who love it. There are people who say they can't understand a word of it. I've even heard someone, incredibly, as far as I'm concerned, call it a boring book. I think it's certainly not that. But it is a kind of scripture. It is crafted as a kind of scripture, the scripture of the Antichrist. And it features the story, in a way, or part of the story of the life of a figure called Zarathustra. And Zarathustra is the inventor of good and evil, as far as Nietzsche is concerned. That is the kind of symbolic value of the figure of Zarathustra. And Zarathustra is concerned to teach people a different way. Zarathustra is like Nietzsche's ideal man. And I think one must say the masculine there, men, the ideal men. Zarathustra is the one who, in the book Thus Spoke Zarathustra, is teaching people to overcome. They must overcome past values. They must overcome themselves. But what is tragic for Zarathustra is that although God is dead, and therefore we must love and live for the earth, people around him are pathetic. And this is the tension Zarathustra feels in the book. On the one hand, he feels a kind of burden and obligation, it would seem, to impart wisdom and knowledge to people. There's a kind of responsibility. On the other hand, people aren't ready for it. They're pathetic, they love their mediocrity. They have their little criticisms of God and religion and Christianity sometimes, but they don't know what they're up to and they're not gonna be great creators for the future. Zarathustra represents the great creator of the future who will create new values. Get rid of the old ones, smash the old law tablets, just like Moses coming down from the mountain, smashing the old law tablets in fury because of what he could see the Israelites were up to. So we must get rid of uh, the things which are embedded in our culture through Christian morality. Nietzsche then, in Thus Spoke Zarathustra, propounds a teaching that has been interpreted in lots and lots of different ways, sometimes called the eternal recurrence of the same. Nietzsche seems to toy there with the idea that everything that had happened will happen again. That given...